Okay, those of you who are taking, listening, and speaking, there are a few of you who are just entering for, into the class for the first time. And so I want to give you just a brief overview of what we've done so far and also the platforms that we're going to be using this uh, semester. So let me start off by saying we're not going to use the virtual classroom. We're going to be working primarily in Microsoft Teams. Almost all of the content and the interactions are going to occur within Microsoft Teams. We'll visit other websites and other uh, access content outside of this platform, of course, but most of the assign, in fact, all of the assignments and tasks and the daily classes that we have online are going to occur here in Microsoft Teams. So if you haven't already, you should uh, have received an invitation and I'm going to upload this video here in the post section. So if you're not familiar with Microsoft Teams, post is where you can share messages. They can be in text form, audio, video. There are different icons here, different ways that you can share information in the post. Just know that anything that you share here, the whole group has access to. All right. So if you have questions that you think others will benefit from, this is going to be the best place for sharing that information. If you want to send me a personal uh, message, then I would recommend that you send it via chat. I'm not going to open this up here, so not to show my, uh, my chats from other people, but uh, you can send me a, a private message via chat. This is going to be the best option because my emails, I tend not to check them as frequently. I am going to be working pretty much all day, every day within Microsoft Teams. So again, you're going to get a quicker response if you send me a message via chat. Um, here under files, this is uh, where we're going to have different files that are going to be shared amongst the whole group. And so uh, I would go through here and just take a look at uh, the files that have been uploaded. We're not going to use the class notebook, nor assignments, nor grades in Microsoft Teams. I'll explain that later. Uh, Flipgrid and ClickUp. So Flipgrid is a service. If you're not familiar with Flipgrid, it allows you to respond or comment on other people's videos in the form of a video. So where you would normally comment in text form, the same concept applies here, but you can respond via a video. And since our class is uh, focused primarily on listening and speaking, this is going to be a useful tool for us to practice our English by responding to each other's videos. And so what we did our first day of class is we assigned a, uh, a page, a topic called Introductions, and everyone is responding or commenting on this topic and so what you can do is you uh, use this code to access Flipgrid and you want to enter the Flipgrid platform using your Microsoft 365 account so again your email and your password that you normally use to enter Microsoft 365. This is the same information you'll use to enter Flipgrid. So once you have this code and your username and password for Microsoft 365, this will allow you to add a video. All right, so here I'm going to click this code. And I'm going to sign in. And you should have an option here to record a response. Okay, so here you'll see prior comments. And um, you can reply to my video, or if you just want to post a new one, uh, we've uh, been doing both. So for the purposes of this first assignment, either way is fine. You can record a response by clicking here. And then a pop up menu will appear, and you can record your response. Now, the uh, advantage of doing this, if you can uh, do it on your phone, I think it's going to be easier. Uh, Flipgrid has an app for both iPhone and Android, so you can install the app and basically do the same thing that we're doing here on your desktop. 
Uh, the same applies to your phone. So it's up to you if you have some problems using your phone uh, and want to use a desktop computer, that's perfectly fine. Either way is fine, but make sure that uh, you go in and uh, follow these instructions. There are six basic questions that I'm asking everyone to consider when you produce your video, your introductions. All right, so that's the first activity we did. And then today we extended this activity to a group activity. So here we assigned groups. And those of you who are coming in uh, today for the first time, you're going to want to choose a team or choose a group. So I would recommend not choosing team one, two, or three, but choosing um, choosing any team between Team 4 and Team 12. And uh, I think there are two or three of you who are joining, so you want to not join uh, the same teams. You want to choose uh, one other team so that there are no more than four members per team. As you see here, there are some with three, which is fine. So anywhere from three to four members per team is acceptable. So those, again, who are just coming in for the first time, uh, you want to choose from team 4 through 12, and again, uh, choose any team that doesn't have, that doesn't already have four members. All right. Um, now, what I would recommend doing is going up here to Microsoft Teams along the top and clicking the video archive. All of the classes that we've had so far um, are going to be recorded. My intention is to record every class. So if for any reason you need to miss a class or if you need to go back and review something that was discussed in any of the classes, this is going to allow you to do that. So here you'll find videos. Some of these are from classes. Some of these are kind of tutorials. Um, the classes that are longer than two hours or I should say longer than an one hour or an hour and a half, those are going to be class videos. So for example, here, this was from today, and this one down here was from Monday, from yesterday. So I would recommend that you go in and listen to those classes. You might benefit from these other videos as well. We did a, a video here. This is a Flipgrid tutorial that we did yesterday. I met with a few students and we discussed and looked at some problems that some students were having accessing Flipgrid, Flipgrid on their cell phone. And so you might want to look at that if you are having some problems using your cell phone with Flipgrid. Of course, you can access any of these videos at your leisure, but uh, know that you can access these videos again here along the top click uh, on video archive and this is a playlist and it's organized by date and uh, again you should be able to access this information directly from here all right if you have any questions about getting started any questions about uh, the technologies that we're going to be using as we get started uh, let me know today's task I would recommend again that you go and watch the video to uh, really get all the information that we talked about today. There are some other activities that I'm asking uh, students to do, so I'm not going to repeat all of it here. Again, watch the videos, try to catch up with uh, the activities, and if you have any questions along the way, uh, let me know. Each day, Monday through Friday, we meet promptly at 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you go to Posts in Microsoft Teams, you're going to see a meeting that's going to appear here every day in the morning at 8 that you can join. So uh, it's a requirement for attendance to attend each of the live sessions and attendance will be kept, will be, uh, will be uh, maintained every day, every class period. And um, again, all classes will be recorded. But it is required that everyone attend the live classes. We're going to be doing activities in class. We'll be doing some activities outside of class, but again, most of the activities 
are going to be are going to occur during the class, so it's very important that you attend. Again, eight o'clock every morning between eight a.m. and nine forty. We usually conclude class at nine forty to give you fifteen or twenty minutes before your next class. All right, so I'll go ahead and stop there again. If you have any questions, feel free to post them directly here within Microsoft Teams, or if you want to send me a private message again through chat. In Microsoft Teams. Again, welcome to Listening and Speaking, and um, make sure that you upload your introductions and uh, to describe and introduce yourself and some of your interests.